and welcome back. I am going to try this for the second time and probably the last time because this cascade tray mold from Pouring Your Heart Out takes a lot of resin. I have mixed up about 16 ounces of uh, Nick Pro, which is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. I'm using Octopus Ink's Write and Draw Ink, Violet B and Yellow Zebra. I'm really liking the vibrancy of these Write and Draw inks. The technique I'm going to try and attempt here is the Daisy Belly from ResinCourses.com. It's another favorite of mine. In addition to the Fairy Flower, the Dragon Flower, the Larama, the Grecian, there's so many courses from ResinCourses.com. This one happens to be my latest <laughs> uh, craze. So there is my Violet B, which is a purpley color. You'll see on the edge, I have I had dusted uh, the edge here with um, a makeup shadow brush, and it was very easy to control the spreading of that mica powder, which was um, which is super bronze. So I tried this yesterday, and um, I got some nice petals on the edges but not all the way into the center. And I'm thinking maybe it was because I syringed or obviously, or maybe because, you know, my ratios are all wrong. So today I'm not going to syringe. I'm just going to let it do, let it do its thing and see. And uh, maybe just have, I mean, I'd, I'd just be happy with some petals. The one that I did yesterday, I'll show you in a minute, um, did turn out kind of pretty, even though there were no sort of form petals in the center. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just trying to get as much out of my two colors as possible. That sure looks pretty. Then my white, I've used Cast and Craft, mixed in my Nick Pro. Make sure all of it goes in. Now I did do a little bit more this time of my white um, and more drops. Maybe that's the key, don't know. Or I, might, or I might ask for a Christmas present to buy a whole bunch of Nick Pro. <laughs> so I can just keep doing, because I just, this is such a beautiful mold. This is, um, there's a, there's a Costa size of the Cascade, which is what, where this started. And uh, Julie made this huge one. There's my white. And then in my clear, which I'll be putting in shortly, it has um, a little of the white gold spiria from Laura's Art Corner. Okay, so I'm going to stir it one more time. And I'm going to push it in the center and I'm going to just go out high and I'm watching my edges making sure I don't overflow yesterday I didn't hopefully I'm lucky again today and um, making sure it goes all the way okay so that one is um, going over there so I don't want to overflow over there. Hopefully this section here will come in. Um, let me show you real quick the one I did yesterday. Um, just getting my hands cleaned. I'm going to be putting my gold uh, crushed glass pretty soon in the center. 
So this is the one I did yesterday and I liked I like it in the sense that you know I've got these nice petals here but I don't know what happened in the center here. So we shall see. Now usually I wait to put in the glitter but uh, or crushed glass but today I'm going to do it sooner. Like now. So and hope that it goes into the center. Let's see, I'm gonna step on my tippy toes now, you know. <clears throat> I did gently move that. Spread it out. Get a circle. Oopsie. Okay, I think that's big enough. I hope that's centered. It's centered by my eye up here, but who knows where it's going to fall in. So I'm going to pause and hopefully put this next uh, stage on a time lapse. Okay, um, this is a special project I'm hoping will work. Excuse the limited counter space in Callie's in the Kitchen. Another Daisy Belly by ResinCourses.com today using Pouring Your Heart Out Small Fine Live Edge Mold, one of my favorites. I know I say that about all her molds. Using Montmark, Montmart acrylic inks for a change. I did a red. I put a little bit of black in my resin. My resin of choice today is the Nick Pro. It's a one-to-one. -one. Ooh, that's a lovely red. Nice lipstick color. That would be a really nice lipstick color. In fact, I think I have a lipstick color that's this color. Um, Okay, so Nick Pro one to one resin, small live, small fine live edge mold from pouring your heart out. 
Mont Montmark acrylic inks. I have used um, Casting Craft for my white, <clears throat> which will go in next. I'm just going to gently push this to the edge. Don't know if it's necessary or not, but I feel better. <laughs> I feel better if I know that my whole bottom is um, mixed up. I mean, uh, to the edge of my mold. Okay, so that's the red. Now comes the Casting Craft. Mixed in my resin. I'm really starting to sort of make sure everything where I use ink, pigments, uh, Casting Craft, I mix mix it really well for a long, you know, longer time than I've been doing it. So I don't know, if, hopefully that makes a difference or if it doesn't, no worries. Okay, so here goes my white in the center. The next color that's gonna come out is actually the clear, which is called, I'm calling it the final push, and it'll have the white gold spe spirea from Laura's Art Corner. It's a very delicate goldish tone powder that I love. Petra from Petra's uh, YouTube videos introduced me to that, and to that and several others. So here's my clear with the gold, the white gold Speria. Now I like to go low and high. Uh, I'm just so used to that. Watching my edge of my mold, making sure I don't overflow. <clears throat> I did a daisy belly on this one to the right of me. Um, and what I did was I put in my glitter mix, which was crushed glass, um, right away. But on this one, I want to just test to see about putting it in a little later. So I am going to hopefully put you on a time lapse so you can see and for me hope that it closes. Okay, my gut feeling is telling me to put the glitter in now, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> oh boy, these are all decisions that are so hard to make. Oh, I'm going to make it in a little different cup. Now I hope I haven't disrupted anything. And I'm not even gonna put my tool in, I'm just gonna let the um, resin suck it in, which it did. So now we shall see. Um, what I'm trying to do this time around is actually not touch the center. Usually I you know, put my glitter mix or whatever and then I go like this. So um, I might do that a little later because I see these white um, areas here, but for now I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm going to put some more of my crushed glass, gold crushed glass. <clears throat> <clears throat> what I think I'll do is I'll 
sort of push it down a little later, but just for now, just, um, oh gosh, of course it has to spread. Oh, you little stinker. <clears throat> Should have left alone. Okay, well, since you're going to do that to me, I'm going to push you down now. And that's all I'm going to push. Oh boy, I've got to do a little maneuver there. Because it's overflowing. I swear my counter is really uneven. Now I'm going to push this a little bit more. There. Hopefully that helps. Clean it up a bit. Okay, I'll fuss with that and I will see you for the unmolding. Okay, so I am both nervous and excited because this is my second try and I'm hoping that I get more petals on this huge tray mold. If I don't, I will use this fantastic mold for some other type of project. So it closed all the way to there on its own. Pretty interesting. Okay. Let's see how you did. And I will clean off all that uh, mica powder on the side. Oh boy. Oh, very pretty. I like it. I know this is off center and this is this, but I'm really happy with that. So that's the best I can do. So there is my daisy belly on a cascade tray mold, which is like eight inches. Thank you so much for watching. And let's see how this daisy belly turned out on the small, fine, live edge mold. Whew. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Interesting, interesting petaling. Wow, very cool. It's interesting what I did there. Not my usual petals, but I love it. Love it, love it. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I've shaped it. I don't know if you can see that it's, you know, curved and into a bowl. Um, kind of a shallow bowl, but check this out. Oh, this is just a marvelous mold. It's just incredible. Um, I'm going to take you in for a close-up because I love these petals here. And even though they ended just here, this little teeny, teeny ones, I don't mind that these are dots. It's kind of, I mean, all in all, it's really pretty. At least that's what I think. So thank you so much for watching this Mama Daisy Belly.